A tribute to the late champion gymnast Diane Durham. The Gary native died earlier this year after a short illness. Her family did not hold a memorial because of the pandemic, but today loved ones finally came together to celebrate and honor the 52 year old. Remembering a barrier breaker, family, friends, and former teammates of Diane Durham gathered at Westside High School in Gary to reflect on the impact she made on the world of gymnastics. When people recognized Diane, she was truly flattered that they knew who she was. She was, is, and always will be gymnastics greatness. Durham was the first black woman to win a U.S. national championship in 1983 at the age of 15. She was considered one of the best vaulters in the world. She was a front runner for the 1984 Olympic team, but an injury kept her out of the games. Her teammates recall her being competitive and compassionate. When we'd be on the floor, out on the floor competing, um, it was never a feeling of competing against each other. It was always being there for each other. Many in gymnastics thought she made her own lasting mark on the sport, paving the way for other black women to reach its pinnacle. Durham died in February, and many of her teammates lobbied to have her inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'm so sorry that she didn't see herself inducted into the Hall of Fame, but I hope somewhere she understands how revered and respected she was by all of us. And Durham is survived by her husband, father, and sister. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.